But now let's move back to the English language and back to The Hobbit for a 10-part episode of the BBC children's series, Jackanory. You know, if you include the opening credits, this is the only Tolkien adaptation to include Babar. Unless he was one of the only fonts. This was a show that featured actors reading children's stories to the audience to stimulate interest in reading. A sort of precursor to shows like Reading Rainbow and Storytime. Their take on The Hobbit aired in 1979, two years after the animated movie. I talked last year about how the text of The Hobbit takes a conversational tone, a tone of someone telling a child a bedtime story, so a show that's literally just actors telling bedtime stories is a good use of the text. The story is narrated by Jan Francis, so that's already more women than Rankin Bass put in their version. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole, nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole. No, it was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. The role of Bilbo was assayed by the late, great Bernard Cribbins, and what a fantastic Bilbo. He doesn't quite surpass Paul Daneman in the radio version as my favorite Bilbo, but he is up there. It's fantastic casting. Uh, well, first... I should like to know a bit more about things, said Bilbo, so far still tookishly determined to go on with things. Also, I should like to know about risks, out-of-pocket expenses, time required and remuneration and so forth, by which he meant, what am I going to get out of it and am I going to come back alive? The other roles are split between Maurice Denham, who plays Gandalf, among others. Uh, yes, yes, my dear sir, and I do know your name, Mr. Bilbo Baggins. I am Gandalf, and Gandalf means me. Gandalf? Gandalf! Good gracious me! Not the fellow who used to tell such wonderful tales at parties. Not the man that used to make such particularly excellent fireworks. Oh, I remember those. I beg your pardon, but I had no idea you were still in business. Oh, where else should I be? All the same, I'm pleased to find you remember something about me. Indeed, for your old grandfather Took's sake... I will go so far as to send you to this adventure. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want any adventures, thank you. Not today. Uh, good morning. And David Wood, who plays Thorin, among others. Gandalf, dwarves, and uh, Mr. Baggins. We are met together in the house of our friend and fellow conspirator, this most excellent and audacious hobbit, to discuss our plans, our ways, means, policy, and devices. Uh, we shall soon start on a long journey. A journey from which some of us, uh, or perhaps all of us, may never return. Like I said, this is actors telling a story, not really filming the story. The visual elements are limited to a couple of props and the occasional cutting to the maps. But hey, unlike Rankin Bass two years earlier, they got the runes right. There is one point that you haven't noticed. You see that rune on the west side and the hand pointing to it from the other runes? That marks a hidden passage to the lower hall. Of course, it does copy Rankin Bass's stupid thing of Bilbo deliberately asking a non-riddle. And there, he found the ring he'd picked up in the passage and forgotten about. <sighs> what have I got in my pocket? Mm, uh, oh, not fair, not fair. It isn't fair, my precious. What have I got in my pocket? Mm, oh, some. It must give us three guesses, my precious. Three guesses. I was on the fence about whether or not this should even count as a filmed adaptation, since it's more of a filmed, abridged table read. But the thing is, it might be the best filmed adaptation of The Hobbit, at least in terms of faithfulness to the text. And anyway, it's really charming, and I wanted to acknowledge it. These episodes have never been released on home video, reportedly because the Tolkien estate blocked them because they did not want to flood the market with too many different Hobbit home videos. That's what the claim is, anyway. Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, reportedly, it was released on audio tape for home purchase at one point, and it's on YouTube, so, you know, watch it on YouTube. 